Pickleball and tennis, there are a lot of similarities and there are tons of differences. Here's one, a lot of the information we're sharing in these tips was in this series, were from uh, filming with a high-speed camera and then obviously analyzing the slow motion footage for uh, revolutions per minute of the ball, the bounce angles, the ball speeds, all those things. Ball's distance between first and second bounces. We used a, a pickleball tutor plus that can feed with topspin, backspin, and flat to help provide a consistent bounce for the filming purposes, but we lined it up with 4.5 to 5.0 level players to form the basis for how we should set the machine to feed the ball. Now, let's talk about pickleball from charting. I've charted uh, many matches and it's easy enough to do, but I took the, put in the hours to go on YouTube and chart match after match after match, men's doubles, mixed doubles, men's singles, women's singles, etc. And here's one of the things I learned as a former tennis pro, uh, played competitively and coached, I think, over 30,000 hours in 50 countries around the world, loads of experience. Um, we know that there's about two seconds from the ball to go from baseline to baseline when you're playing tennis, and that baseline length is 78 feet. A pickleball court is almost half the distance, 44 feet. So a tennis ball on average with a 40 mile per hour shot, which is about a 4.0 level tennis player or pickleball player, a 40 mile an hour shot takes two seconds on average to go baseline to baseline. Obviously, it's not a high lob we're talking about, but a baseline ground strokes, 40 mile an hour ball. All right, pickleball, 40 mile an hour ball. Same ball speed. A tennis ball, two seconds baseline to baseline. But how does it change with pickleball? A pickleball court is almost half the distance. Therefore, in pickleball, you've got, instead of two seconds, you've got only one second to react and you've got to pick the ball up and read it off your opponent's racket faster than tennis because you have less time to determine, is it coming to my forehand side? Is it coming to my backhand side? Are they hitting it high over the net, low over the net? Are they hitting it short, a little dink? Am I gonna to have to run forwards? You've got decisions to make in pickleball in less time than you have on a tennis court. Therefore, although people can say, oh, pickleball, you know, you serve underhanded, right? It's a shorter court. You don't have to run as far. Pickleball is more challenging in some ways than tennis and your re reaction time being shorter, one second versus two for baseline rallies, is just one of the ways in which pickleball is a very challenging sport. Thanks for joining us.